Hey guys, Zot here, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be covering 15 abilities that you can premonition. For those of you that don't know, premonition is an ability discipline priests have that deals damage to themselves after a short period of time, and also extends the duration of their atonements. However, in Arena, the main use of this is to get out of crowd control that breaks on damage. To use this ability correctly, you press it 1-2 to two seconds before the crowd control lands, and if it can, it will break to the damage, commonly known as death in crowd control, based off the old priest ability Shadow Word Death, which used to do the same thing. Anyway, let's get started. First up, we have Blind. This 2 minute crowd control ability rogues have is one of the strongest crowd controls in game. If you are quick enough and pay attention to the rogues positioning, you could start making your very own montage. Coming in at number 2, we have Polymorph. This is probably the most commonly deft ability, and makes playing Premonition against a mage almost mandatory. Simply wait till the end of the cast, and use Premonition to get yourself out of the Polymorph. Next up, we've got Freezing Trap. This is a crowd control all 3 Hunter specs have. Again, pay attention to the Hunter's position, and try to look for the trap flying through the air. A lot of the time, it's very telegraphed if the Hunter is going to trap or not. Also note, you cannot Death Trap if they're playing Diamond Dice. Coming in next, we have Repentance. This is similar to Polymorph, but has a cooldown. With both Rep Paladins, Holy Paladins, as well as Protection Paladins capable of playing this ability, it's often worth assessing what comp the Paladin is playing before opting to choose Premonition. As with Polymorph, just press Premonition near the end of the cast. At our number 5 spot, we've got an ability that all 3 Monk specs have, and that's Paralysis. This 45 second cooldown instant crowd control can often be deft by paying attention to the Monk's positioning. Next up, we have the only ability you can death against shamans, and that's Hex. When not playing with a D-curse on your team, look to again use Premonition at the end of the cast, as with Repentance as well as Polymorph. In at number 7, we have Fear. This spammable crowd control doesn't break to dots that easily, however will break instantly to your Premonition. However, you can only death this ability from Warlocks and Warriors, as the Priest Fear Psychic Scream cannot be broken by a Premonition. The second ability from Rogues on this list you can Prem is Sap. It's very rare you'll be able to put this to use, but it's something worth noting. Who knows, maybe you can do a cheeky death in the opener and get his sap. Or even if he messes up his blind. Up next, we've got Dragon's Breath. This ability is unique to Fire Mages and is often used to ensure that they can land a Polymorph. If you're not playing Relentless, this can often be worth deathing instead of Polymorph, as you can just death and then line the follow-up Polymorph. Coming in at number 10, we've got Intimidating Shout. This is an ability unique to Warriors. It's the same range as Priest Fear, so if you see a Warrior coming towards you, or leaping, get ready to hit that Premonition button. Back once more to Paladins, with their last crowd control, often seen in Holy Paladin comps without a fear, such as Iron Pala or Ellie Mage Holy Pala. Blinding Light is an instant 6 second fear effect that can be Premonitioned. As with most of these abilities, pay attention to the Paladin's position. If he's running at you, he likely wants to blind if he's playing it. In at number 12, we've got Quake in Palm. This melee range crowd control is unique to Pandas, and with Pandas currently being the move, you might find more use for this one than you first might think. Next up, we've got our first pet ability on this list. You'll probably find rarely Destruction Warlocks will be playing with a Succubus. If they are, pay attention to its cast bar. You'll be able to see when it's casting and simply press Premonition at the end of the cast. For our penultimate ability on this list, we've got Gouge. A small crowd control unique to Outlaw Rogues, again, that can be done from melee range, so keep an eye out for the rogue's position if you want to premonition this ability. And last up, at number 15, we've got the only Demon Hunter CC on this list, and that is Imprison. This is a Demon Hunter in-cap ability that breaks on damage, however, if they spec into detainment, you'll no longer be able to death this ability. Alright guys, that's 15 abilities that you can premonition. Thanks for watching, and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed.